Jose Mourinho was caught flouting government guidelines by training some of the Spurs players yesterday, including M. Don Bailey. He has since apologised, issuing this statement saying, I accept that my actions were not in line with government protocol and we must only have contact with members of our own household. It's vital we all play our part, follow government advice in order to support our heroes in the NHS and save lives. Well, let's welcome Craig Burley and Julianne Laurent to the show. Craig, what do you make of this? Well, if it's vital to, to follow government policy, why didn't he follow government policy? The Prime Minister of the UK, as we speak, is actually in hospital in a pretty serious condition. He has been for at least two or three days. If that's not warning enough that this virus doesn't recognise any individual, it is out there and you need to adhere to those guidelines, then then clearly nothing else will, will register. Look, is, you know, if you'd watched Ndombele this season, would you say, does this player need some extra training? Absolutely, he needs some extra training. He's, he's looked that way from the start of the season. But this is not the time and the place. There are clear guidelines. There are some people who are... Uh, not adhering to it, but unfortunately, when it's a very public person like Jose Mourinho, that that's not going to make the matter any better for Joe Public in the street to try and stay inside, stay away from other people, and keep your social distancing. It's irresponsible at the very best. Jules, you get about 20 guesses of which Spurs player he would have been caught with. M. Dombele would be very much down the bottom of that list considering the criticism the Frenchman has rece received of late. Yes, you're right. That's, that's the, uh, I guess the positive for Spurs is that Mourinho and, and, and Dombele are friends again now, clearly, for, for, for Mourinho to, to break the, uh, the government guidelines to, to go and have a, an individual training session because, as I was told today by someone at the club, the, the others that, we, that got caught running and, and not being social distancing, uh, Sanchez and, and Cecilio on one hand and Serge Aurier and one of his friends on the other hand, were not part of that session. That session was only Mourinho and then Dombele. The club knew nothing about it. It was arranged by Mourinho himself uh, to sort of maybe rekindle their, their relationship in a way, as you said, very much broken since uh, Mourinho took over from Marcio Pochettino in November. But at least that was the positive. The negative is pretty much everything that Craig just explained. Craig, how did he think he was going to get away with this? Uh, I, I, maybe, I, I don't know. I mean, at least he might have went out and bought uh, a false nose and a moustache and some glasses or something. Just do anything. But, you know, uh, so, so public about it. Uh, I mean, at the end of the day, if Mourinho had called me as a player and said, we're going out training together, I would have just said no. If there's one excuse you've got for coming back slightly unfit at the moment, it is this pandemic. Uh, so, you know, clearly there are blame on, on both sides. Uh, it's real stupidity when you see the scenarios surrounding lots and lots. I mean, thousands of people now who are affected by this in terms of the illness itself in the UK. Uh, never mind all the economic problems going around with it. So it, it's just it's just utter stupidity. But it's been nipped in the bud. And as Tottenham, I think, have said themselves, we have to make sure that our employees adhere to government policy. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.